The Promis Vision 3D Surgical Microscope is an excellent tool that will enhance the clinical abilities of the clinician. In this video, I will show you the most important factors to have into consideration for having the most comfortable clinical experience. For having the best quality of 3D images, the screen should be located just in front of the operator, in a distance of approximately 600 millimeters. The vision of the clinician should hit the center of the screen in a perpendicular direction. One of the most important and useful characteristics of the Promis Vision 3D Microscope is the fact that you can angulate the optical pod in any direction. With this feature, you will be able to obtain direct vision for almost all the procedures. It is important to have in mind that the clinician will have unlimited possibilities related to the angulation of the optical pod and the patient positioning. During the next minutes, I will show you some examples related on how to angulate the optical pod, on how to position the patient for working in some areas of the oral cavity, but these are just examples. The final setup will rely on the procedure to be performed. The space that the microscope is going to occupy in your office is a factor to have in mind since the very beginning of the planification. For example, in our office we have the floor model of the 3D surgical microscope, but this will need some extra space. If you have limited space in your office or if you want to avoid any interference coming from the position or the location of the microscope, you can choose the high wall or the ceiling mechanisms for attaching the microscope and for having it in the proper positions for working comfortably. Everything will depend on the design of your office and you can check the different alternatives with your Siler representative. One of the basic principles when working with mirrors and the microscope is to place the mirror as far as possible from the working area. If you are working in the upper arch, the lower lip will be your guidance for the placing of the mirror. Ask the patient to open as big as possible and use the lower lip as the point of reference. If you follow this basic principle, you will be able to position the mirror in different angles and you will avoid to get the mirror full of water drops that will interfere with your vision. For working in the lower maxilla, there are two options. The first option is to work with direct vision and use the mirror only for checking the progress of the tooth preparation.
The second alternative is to work using indirect vision. If you want to use indirect vision in the lower maxilla, you will need to move the mirror in the direction of the upper lip. In this case, the upper lip will be your point of reference for avoiding the mirror to get full of water drops. If the clinician needs to work in the most posterior areas of the lower maxilla, for example, in the distal area of a second molar, the 45 degrees angulated hand pieces are very useful. They will provide you a clear vision of the operative field and you can angulate them in any direction, buccal, mesial or distal, to obtain a proper direct vision of the operative field. Would you ever imagine doing an endo-access opening in an upper first molar with direct vision? Sounds crazy, but yes, it is possible. In this video, you are seeing an endo-access opening being performed with direct vision in an upper first molar. Then, you just need to use the mirror for checking that everything is okay at the level of the pulp chamber floor. One of the most common mistakes at the beginning of the learning curve when you start using the operative microscope is to try to start working at the highest level of magnification. You need to properly select the magnification according to the procedure. The first and the second step of magnifications are used when you need to take care of adjacent structures in surgery, for example. The third and the fourth magnification level are used in almost all the general procedures, operative dentistry, prosthetic dentistry, and endodontics, for example. The fifth and the sixth level of magnification are used only for very specific procedures and when you want to check the final details. As I mentioned it before, with the 3D microscope, it's possible to obtain direct vision for almost every procedure. You just need to properly angulate the head of the microscope. You will have a lot of freedom of movement because of the design of the microscope, and you just need to get adapted to it. You will be able to do retro preparations, retro alteration, and even working with direct vision in teeth located in the upper maxilla. The depth of field and the field of view that the 3D microscope offers are just amazing. In the lowest magnification, you will be able to see the full arch with everything on focus. If you need to play sutures, you will work with a lot of comfortability and precision. Despite of the fact that the 3D microscope will help you 
to obtain direct vision for almost every procedure, it's important for you to practice and to mastering your mirror skills. Just keep in mind, keep the mirror as far as possible from the working area. Use the lower lip as the point of reference if you are working in the upper maxilla. Use the upper lip as the point of reference if you are working in the lower maxilla and please continue practicing for the proper angulation of the mirror depending on the procedure that you are performing. Clinical documentation is one of the most important factors to have in mind when it comes to microscopic dentistry. The 3D surgical microscope comes with a device that will record everything that you are seeing on the screen and you will be able to take steady shots as well. Uh, this device is very easy to manipulate. You just need to use the remote control, press a button to start the recording, to take steady shots, or even if you want to stream the videos to an external screen, you can manipulate everything with this remote control. In the case that you want to do some editing on your videos or pictures, you just need to take the external storage device, connect it to your computer, transfer the files, and then use uh, the software of your choice. This is not the only option related to clinical documentation with the 3D surgical microscope. You can check the different devices and alternatives with your Siler representative. Another advantage of the 3D surgical microscope is the fact that the dental assistant will be able to see directly on the screen what the dentist is doing. This will help the clinician to stay focused on the operative field and the assistant will follow all the steps related to the procedure. This will enhance the operative workflow. Okay guys, this is all for now. I hope you have enjoyed the video. I hope the video to be useful for your clinical practice, but please remember, this is only a small guide Focus on very specific factors related on the clinical manipulation of the 3D surgical microscope. The best way of learning how to position the mirror, the patient and the microscope is to use the device in a regular basis in your daily clinical routine.